destruction, death, terror, fear. These are the things that our heroes experienced last time on program. In the previous episode, Viceroy Newt Gunray brought in his army and completely decimated that of Clone Friend and Leonard's. All of the reject clone and, and reprogrammed droids have been completely destroyed. Now it seems that only Leonard is still alive, left, left to do something. Something that he does not yet know, but for doom is arising as an unexpected enemy will emerge that he must conquer if he is to succeed in his mission. His mission, that is, his life. Oh, you there, droid, report to me. What is happening? The general, the viceroy, has taken his army and engaged Leonard's. If I am correct, all of Leonard's forces have been completely destroyed. However, Leonard has escaped. Roger, Roger. So, this is where the battle happened, and it looks like it is long over. <laughs> we have won. Yes, you will be most pleased. But wait, who is that the Viceroy has over there? If I am correct, that is Leonard's clone friend. Apparently, he has survived the battle, and it looks like the Viceroy is about to turn him into his own puppet. God, release him! Now, revive him! Enough! Ah, uh, where am I? Oh, my head. Oh, what's happening? Where am I? Who are you? Why can't I remember anything? You are in good hands, clone friend. Do not worry. Do not worry. What happened? Who are you? Where am I? Do I can't remember. Did do, do we win the battle? Did we win? This will never work. Shut up. No, clone friend. I am so sorry, but you did not win the battle. You are the last. Everyone else is gone. The battle is over. You are but one out of two of the survivors. That's impossible. I would have surely remembered. Ah, uh, we, well, we lost. I, I can't remember anything. I, I still can't remember anything. I don't remember the battle, I just remember it happening, and I don't not remember the outcome. I'm sorry, my friend, but in an explosion, you were blew against a barrier and hit your head. It seems to have severed your mind, broken your memory, left it open for others to fill the gaps, so to speak. <laughs> and you, you, since your head has been hit, have lost very much from your mind. You cannot remember much, but I can educate you. Who are you? What's going on? Why can't I remember anything? Where's Leonard? Ah, there's a name he finally remembers. So I see not all of your memories are gone. Shells, fragments remain. Yes, Leonard. I remember Leonard. This was all his stupid idea. The battle, getting an army, coming here. Oh, everyone is dead and it was all his idea. That's right. All of this was Leonard's idea. Everyone is dead because of his planning. Leonard, you remember him. Vaguely, I remember the battle. I remember Leonard. I remember this being his idea. Where is he? Everyone is dead. You said there were two alive. Where is he? I saw Leonard running. 
Once the battle got really heated, after you hit your head, I saw Leonard run like a coward. He ran to save his own skin and not to help yours. Don't you see, clone friend? He left you. He left you for dead. Well, I don't know. That doesn't sound like Leonard. I mean, I think he would try to help me, wouldn't he? I, I don't know. Exactly. You do not know. You have forgotten. You do not remember what Leonard did. You do not remember him leaving you. Because you never saw it. But he did. Think about it, clone friend. Do you really think Leonard cares about you if he cowered away and left you for dead at the hands of Viceroy Newt Gunray? Use what you remember, I beg of you. This is all Leonard's idea, Leonard's plan to fight. But then when it comes time, he leaves. Don't you see, clone friend? Don't you see? Le Leonard betrayed me. Is that what you think? Do you believe it? I... I don't know. I still don't know. There's not enough memory remaining to tell me. All I remember is fighting. And then darkness. And Leonard. And it being his idea. All from the start. His idea! Exactly! It was always his plan. It was always his idea. It was always Leonard's plan to get you here, to bring you to this droid factory, to fight, have a battle, but then to run away at the critical moment when you are losing, to leave you here, clone friend. He does not care about you. He left you for dead because he is a coward. And now you must take your exquisite revenge on him. You must, clone friend. Only then will your memories truly feel returned. Unlock your potential, I beg of you. I guess you're right. Yes, this all was Leonard's idea. Some crude battle, getting an army, fighting, losing, and then cowering, leaving me, his supposed best friend, to die. He doesn't care about me. He's drug me through all of this torment all the time when I've been with him. I've just keep getting hurt and going through unimaginable suffering to his extent to execute his fruitless plans of revenge against those who have wronged us. But you know who has wronged me? He has wronged me. He has brought me through all of this torment. He is the one who has wronged me. And now I must take my revenge on him and unlock my potential. Yes, clone friend. You must take your revenge on Leonard. You must fight him. You must destroy him. And I will, with pleasure. My memories will be restored, and if they're not, I don't need them to be to remember that this is all Leonard's fault. He has drugged me through all of this, and now he left me for dead, and he must pay. Good. I'm glad to see that you are feeling better. I, I guess you're right. I must destroy Leonard, but where is he? When will he come? When will he face me? Oh, don't worry. He will come. He has nowhere to go. And when he returns, he will have no choice but to face you. And the mistake that he has made. And the monster that he has allowed me to create. Go, clone friend. Destroy Leonard. Yes, I will destroy Leonard. What do we do now, sir? Now we wait for Leonard to return, and then we will watch them destroy each other. All of this destruction, all of this death, has amounted to nothing. All this destruction, all this death, it's all my fault. I'm the one who brought us here, who caused this battle. This is all my fault. All this destruction, it's all my fault. The battle brought along all of this. 
destruction, death. All of my friends are gone. Even clone friend died. None of this would have ever happened if we didn't come here. It was all my fault. None of this would have happened if my head didn't get smashed going through the droid rebuilder. I would never have broken free from the central droid mind. I would never be thinking like I was. I would never have brought us all here. This is all my fault. No. Oh, no. As I look at all this destruction, I look at all this death, what is there for me to think besides negative thoughts? Besides the fact that it was my fault. Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh. Hello. Who am I? I'm just a battle droid. Um, 446, I think. Uh, who are you? You're a battle droid too, right? You don't look like a battle droid. Were you here in the battle too? <laughs> yeah. I was in the battle. That's just that I kind of caused it. And I am a battle droid. Not a normal one. Looks like you survived, though. Do you remember anything from the battle? Anything at all? No, I don't really remember much. I remember mainly just the battle happening, fighting, and then getting knocked over. I think I might have hit my head or something, because after that, my memory seems fractured. I see. Hmm, I've got an idea. Why did I use the memory wiper? By using it on you, it might make you remember your memories because you've forgotten. It might be able to reverse engineer itself on hitting you instead of making you forget. It could make you remember. How far back, I don't know. Did it work? Do you remember who you once were? Uh, it's all coming back to me. My memories. You've done it. I remember now. But I don't just remember this battle. I remember much farther back than that. What? What do you mean? Don't you remember me, Leonard? I remember you. What? Who are you? Is I. 226. From so long ago. 226? It cannot be! But, but you- Yes. That disgusting Jedi, General Michael, sliced me down at the Battle of the Reject Clone Base. I never saw what happened to you or anything. Everything went black. Then I was rebuilt. Just like all the droids were when they're destroyed, the Separatists collected them again and recycled them. I was now a new droid, deployed with the Viceroy's armies. I was sent here, to battle, and I was destroyed. I hit my head hard and was left lying here with my memories fractured, but you came along. You restored my memory. I remember you, Leonard, because only one droid would ever be so ingenuitive to know to reverse the psychology of the memory wiper to bring back my memory. I knew then that it must be you, Leonard, when I got my memory back remembering who you were. Two, two, six. It's really you after so long. Yes, Leonard. It's really me after so long. But my life is fading. Do it. Whatever you were planning on doing earlier, Leonard. What? What? You better do it. You had talk. You had plans. You created. You had something in mind. But what that something is, I don't know. So go, Leonard. And you better do that something. But you still can. 226? Are you okay? 226? No! <laughs> I know 
What must be done? This isn't my fault. This is the Viceroy's. And I'm going to go. And I'm going to destroy him. Clone friend, you're still alive. This, this is wonderful. I saw you blow up. I thought you were dead. Uh, now, now, together we can destroy the Viceroy clone friend, and then we can start all over again. Start all over again? You just never quit, do you, Leonard? You just want to keep going. But you don't care about me. You only care about your ambitions, your plans, your ambitions and plans that have been hurting me for the past who knows how long I can remember of my life. What are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about, Leonard. You know all right. Everything that I've been through with you, it's all just hurting me the whole way through. Everything that we've done in your plans. Ever since the start, I've been hurt by you. When we tried to escape from the reject clone base, I was stabbed severely by a commando droid, tortured by a super val droid. Then you had to go and crash the ship, and I was hanging on for dear life, flying around like a rag doll, like an idiot while you just lounged around. Then we had to go to another reject clone base to a party, waste all that time at the party, all the time at the second reject clone base, all this crap, all this shit. You know what, Leonard? You know what you've been bringing me through? Do you even care? And do you know what my final straw was for you, punk? I don't know what you're talking about. If you were upset, you should have said something before. You never thought this before until now. Oh, I've always thought it. But do you know what my final straw was for you? When you left me to die. During the battle, you ran like a coward while I almost died. I hit my head so hard, my memory may be fractured. But when I take my revenge on you, I will destroy you, Leonard. And then my memory shall be returned. Hit your head? Loss of memories? Clone friend, the Viceroy is filling your head with lies. A couple minutes ago, I encountered 226, and I saw a very similar situation. He, too, had hit his head. He hit his head during the writing, and he lost some of his memories, just like you have. I think you're suffering from some sort of concussion. After you hit your head, you've lost some of your memories, and you've allowed the Viceroy to corrupt them, fill them with dark truths. Now he's turned you against me. Please, clone friend, don't let him do this. You're lying to me. You're just trying to persuade me with untruths. I will never believe a word that you say after you left me for dead. My mind. Oh, revenge shall be mine, Leonard. Revenge is something that we have been trying to take on those who have wronged us. But all this time it is you who has been wronging me. And now I shall be the one that takes revenge. Not on those, but on you, Leonard. I will destroy you, Leonard. Clown friend, why? Please, come to your senses. Look at that mark on your head. Don't you see? You really have suffered from a concussion. You really did hit your head. Please, clone friend. I can help you. Let me help you. Don't touch me! And so it begins. Oh, no, you don't, Leonard. Oh, no, you don't, Leonard. Here you go. Ah!
Clone friend, here, let me help you. <laughs> What you've done, Leonard? You sliced off my other hand. Yes, Leonard. I bet that you were the droid. You were the droid so long ago on the moon of Dizini that shot my arm off. And now you've gone and shot off my hand again. You just can't stop hurting me, can you? What are you talking about? Clone friend. That doesn't even make any sense! You're just coming up with random things at the top of your head to, just to get back at me for something that I never did! Please, please, this duel will amount to nothing! I, I don't want to have to kill you, but if you force me to, if you make me pull the trigger, then it is because of your own actions! You have done this to yourself, Leonard. By letting me come with you, by becoming friends, you have created a monster and set your own destiny in set. By allowing me to travel the universe with you to take revenge, you have only sealed your fate for your own, to quote, best friend, to destroy you. By pulling the trigger and ending my life, you thus end yours and enter your true fate. You will meet your destiny, Leonard. You'll see. You'll see! No. Don't make me destroy you. Don't make yourself destroy yourself, Leonard. It's either I destroy you or you destroy me. And in the process, the other will kill the other and simultaneously we will die. There can be no victor to this battle. We will both destroy each other. So why don't you kill me first? End my suffering so yours may truly begin, Leonard. Pull the trigger. Do what you've intended to do. Ever since we first met, no droid and clone could ever be friends truly do it Leonard do it 
now droid and clone can ever truly be friends? That's the thing. We are no ordinary droid and clone. We don't follow the simple orders that we were programmed to follow. We broke free from our programming. We tried to fight those who programmed us. But in the process, we ended up programming others. And thus, we lost by being hypocritical. We tried to defeat what we were trying to defeat with what we were trying to defeat. If you understand my logic, we tried to defeat programming with programming, and thus we brought upon our own extinction, our own destruction. I I really don't want to kill you, but you, you, you've done so much. You took my arm off, and I'm not allowed to complain about it. Only you are. You've lied to me. You, 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 con friend. I... I must kill myself if I am to truly escape. I must be free. No. What have I done? Did it work? Huh? What? What are you guys doing here? You all are supposed to be dead. That's right, Leonard. We are dead, and you have passed the test. Test? What test? You all died. That's right, Leonard. And so did you. I died? When? No, Leonard. You died along with Clone Friend quite some time ago. I died with Clone Friend. We've been dead. And what is all this that's been happening to me? This whole experience, everything with you guys and um, the Viceroy. What is all this then? A mere illusion? What happened? Leonard, we died of the shuttle crash. Remember when you tried to crash the shuttle? Well, and it turns out, we both died. The two of us died instantly when the shuttle crashed. Ever since then, we were split up. I ascended directly into heaven. And you, Leonard, you were sent on your own personal journey. So this whole time, after we crashed in the shuttle, I'd been dead. I'd been stuck in purgatory. I've been stuck in a realm between this world and the next, on a journey, trying to prove something, to realize my faults, to do something. But along the way, I met all of you guys. But I'm dead, so that means I should be in heaven. So I'm in heaven then. I died. I passed the test. I made it. I can't believe it. That, that was such a crazy journey. I mean, but then who are you guys? You reject clones, and who is the Viceroy? Who are you then? I know I'm real, but who are you? We are angels, sent to help guide you through your quest to eternal life. I, clone friend Leonard, also was trying to help you. I was real, though I died, but I've the whole time been trying to help you along your quest. But people like Severus were demons, an evil monster, trying to stop you from achieving your quest, while people like the Viceroy and Count Dooku were mere illusions, part of the test. The test that you passed by killing me, by realizing that there was only one way to escape. By realizing what you had done, what you had created, and why your quest was doomed from the beginning. I understand now. My quest ever since the beginning was built solely on revenge. Revenge and destruction. So my quest was ended when I was killed and I was sent on a completely new divine one. Still, I thought I was alive, so I continued my quest for revenge, but eventually, revenge came after me, and I saw through the error of my ways. I saw what revenge had created. It created a monster and clone friend. So I knew I had to accept this fate. The revenge only can bring you more revenge. Revenge plus revenge equals destruction, so I was forced to... So I killed Clone Friend, but I didn't really kill him. I just ended the revenge. 
I wish for revenge, he wished for revenge. Revenge only brings death. And I learned that. I pass. Test. Yes, Leonard. Welcome home. I did it. It's over. I understand. Everything can come to a close. Destruction only brings destruction. But perfection, harmony, is key. Talking away, I don't know what to say, I'll say it anyway. Today's another day to find you, shine away. I'll be coming for your love, okay? Take on me, take Sorry, I, I can't hit that note in this voice. So needless to say, months and ends, but I'm stumbling, stumbling away. We're slowly learning that life is okay. Say it after me. It's so better to be safe than sorry. Take on me. All things that you say It's a life or a life or Just to play my worries away Here's all the things I've got to remember You shine away I'll be coming for you anyway Take on me Take on me Take me oh, Take on me On me, I'll be gone in a day. more time take on me take on me take me on take on me I'll be gone in a day or two
Ha guys, hope you enjoyed the show. Now, please subscribe to this channel for more. If you subscribe to us, we'll subscribe back to you as long as you're not, we're notified. You do not always notify since I'm subscribed to us, so please comment in the comment section below saying you subscribe to subscribe back to you. We post videos quite a lot, so why don't you subscribe so you can watch them. For example, we have YTPs, we have edit videos, we have clips, we have stop motion videos like this. I'm sure there's something for you now. Enjoy your day.